<laughs> YouTube family, what one? Boy, I'm up there in the middle of the champs crazy. May I tell you, say it's crazy. Crazy excitement, but a good crazy. I don't know, crazy crazy, a good crazy. A champs crazy. <laughs> All right. You be the pan. More want to spare some, some empathy for young sprint star Serena Cole. Look here. It's one of the cruelties of sport, you know. You see, injuries and the unpredictability of injuries are almost the, uh, it, it's like injuries just a part of sport. I mean, I tell you, say the world, not just the Jamaican track and field fraternity and the Jamaican fan base, but the world was deprived of one of the epic champs clashes this year when Serena Cole got on injured in the semi-final of what was said to be the race of champs 2023. But I saw the thing go. But from a humanitarian perspective still, we just want to empathize with Serena Cole and we just wish her all the best and speedy recovery. And if there's a, this is a positive, you can twist out a positive out of this unfortunate situation, is that the world don't stop at winning the gold medal at champs. In the wider scheme of things, Serena Cole has such a good take it philosophical law. Now that this happened, this should not be allowed to define who you are as an athlete. And may I say, there are bigger opportunities in the wider world of track and field. With your kind of super talent and your versatility, you, you will realize that pretty soon, if you do the right thing and go down the right path, you're going to realize that this little miss where you miss the 100 meter final at Champs is, yeah, in the moment it's disappointing, but in the wider scheme of things, I don't know. <laughs> so, I so you have a look at it. But I tell you, say, the world did not look forward to the race. And, you know? and people, let me tell you something. That time when Alana Reed run, and the way Serena Cole was running, how they did not go to toe throughout the season and throughout the meet itself before it got to the final. Remember, it was said to be an epic. And as we said, unfortunately, we will never know what would have happened if the two of them did run in the same race. But Serena Cole, I, I see what again we, we add to the unfortunate drama about it again. Is that Serena at the scene, you know, this is her last year at Champs, you know. This was supposed to be her year at Champs, you know. And to realize say, it got on the way where it got on. And that's the, that's the thing about injuries, you know. It's not like you can predict injuries or do nothing really super scientific, you know. We ensure that injuries don't happen, you know. You can't ensure it, you know. You can take you know, you can't take precautions and you can't do the right things. I mean, I mean, physiologically, you can't do the right things. You can't do the right things in terms of your preparation and your training and your warm-up protocol and your warm-down protocol. You can't do all of them something and you still get injured, you know. I just saw injuries go. I always tell people, say, a big part of injuries happen with luck, you know. Just the luck, the luck of the situation, the luck of the climate, the luck of how your muscle feels, the luck of how your, your tendon, just the luck at the moment. And it was just unfortunate. We don't look forward to the spectacle. And remember, this kind of spectacle, you know, that kind of clash, that kind of form up the two at least in the same race. Them something will happen a lot of, of times, you know. It will happen very often, you know. We might not see all of the... We, in fact, we most definitely will not see these kind of dynamics coming together in another race at Champs. For, for God knows how long. Trust me. I see the race, the facts that the race end up at 1092. That kind of peak, the, the, the kind of, we don't know, the intrigue around what could potentially happen if Serena didn't get run on the race, you know. <laughs> we just want to wish her speedy recovery still. I hope she get heal up and get better fully, well, and soon as well. And just again, you have to remember, we have to tell ourselves, you know, say the world will start and stop at champs. Another positive twist to it, though, is that we have to also thank God. Say it's not previous years. Because in a previous years and previous dispensation of champs, you know, it's when an athlete of the caliber of Serena Cole running via a school where chase champs glory. And how pivotal she is in terms of points for her school. Remember, say she's a long jumper, you know, part of the 4x1 relay team, you know, and of course the 100 meter, you know. In a previous dispensation, you know what they would have done? They would have just wrapped up the upstream there with a, with a band, you know. 
wrap it up with a banner and sell her out there run for it, you know. And run the risk of doing further damage. But thank God we've come a long way. We get more material now and we get we understand now. Say the thing now start and stop a champs. So we take the precaution. Obviously, you know, because we must run the semi-final and run 11 one six, eleven one seven, you know. So that means uh, she run pretty well. Right? And she she obviously, but she felt it to the extent where the decision was taken for not to make her run. And I've said in the previous years, that never used to happen. Whole pop, big star is come and champs, burn up them foot, and play here and go, go run and pop up the muscle and don't run another race. I can't run by the time when they used to run before the injury. So, you know, we are trying to search and scrounge with some positives around the situation there, you know. <laughs> but see, we not call this one for the future, though. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe you see that incident and that injury, um, scenario we reach her, maybe it will help build and firm up our metal going forward in you know, this bigger life out there. So, you know, yeah, man. And as we said, we always say to people, you know, you see, you see, sport, sport is a microcosm of life. And if you're gonna make it at a certain level in a sport, you have to learn to ride out adversities and learn from the, the ebbs and flows of your fortunes in this life, yeah. So it's going to be a positive fear. I'm sure in another five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, when you probably enjoy our glory days as a professional athlete, she's going to scoff back and remember, say, I say, you know, so we really feel so we could have beat Alana Reed in another 100 meter day if we didn't get to run it at Champs 2023. <laughs> Anyway, still, I will have to say big up Edwin Allen again to continue to produce these kind of athletes. Uh, they have a knack of finding these little gems and unearthing them and, and pushing them out and exposing them to the world. Yeah, man, so we just want to say the bigger picture is bigger than champs. Serena Cool. Bigger picture is, is bigger than champs. Alana Reed look like one of them for the future as well. She has her edge crew and she doesn't seem to be getting carried away with the whole excitement around the whole thing. She's pretty level-headed about it. And she, as I said, she set her sights for where she have already, you know. She don't decide that she has go college already. And that is set and sealed. So you don't know. But you don't know. It's one of them things in a sport. It's just one of them that thing the way you go with sport. You can't, you can't fuck. When, when we are talking about anything in a sport, the possibility of injuries is what is called a given. You don't have to mention it. So if you said a girl, you know, she have a bright future, you know. All of that is dependent on her remaining injury-free long enough to fulfill her potential as a sport go. And when it happens, when injuries come, you can't do nothing but live with them. As so it go, you treat them, you rest, you try to recover, and you go again. You know, some athletes are plagued with injuries more than some. We don't, we, we, we haven't, we, we don't, well, we never see that tendency with Serena Cole. So we hope it's just a one-off. And you know, say before the race run the day, me I watch the race on the TV and I said to myself, why the start to hold them in the black so long? Can they were up there in them shots, in the, in the, can they were up there at the start of the 100 meters for about, start up for about three minutes, you know? I mean, I said to myself, I said it, you know? So why the start to have them up on the black so long? He just stand up in the blocks and shake around and, and so said, so done. But I saw it go. What do you think? Yeah. You don't think this can help build the metal of Serena Cole? Yeah. You don't think so? I think so. What do you think? <laughs> Maverick, check it out again, you know, for the time being. Champs are we busy and buzzing. You see? <laughs>